Well, don't blame me, Joe. Did you think it was appropriate to have Carol interfering in a police investigation? I've never even heard of box jellyfish. Well, that might be the least of our worries. There's a stranger asking after Carol. Rosie was a blonde. Sarah Wagner was a blonde. I don't have to remind you the colour of Carol's hair, do I? Where's she got to? Never did tell me. What are you doing in Marilla Bar? Good night. It's your place. Well, uh, one of my mum's. Got a room booked. Any burden? Ma? Yes? This is Mr. Burden. The celebrated jockey? Too right. Oh, I'm Lou. Pleased to meet you. I can't help but wondering, Ernie, what's a fine two-year-old like Banana Bender doing in the Marilla Bar picnic race? Ah, uh, look, Lou. The owner reckons a few wins in piddling small-town meets like yours might bolster his form when it comes to entering the bender in the Melbourne Cup. Word to the wise. Put the deeds to the pub on this nag. With yours truly in the saddle, I shall say no more. Yes, he's looking kind Janet Murray's on her way. You ready? Does she know why we want to see her? Her husband might be a friend of mine, Miss Dawson, but I'm still a cop. I'm as keen as you are to hear what she has to tell us and see how she reacts. You don't need me for this. I'm going to look for Carol. Wait! Banana Bender! I'm just seeing him! The far lap of our time. I'm going to get one over here this year, Lou, no matter how short the odds. I'm going to increase my stake. Oh, I'm flabbergasted, Sergeant Flaherty. You of all people ought to know that off-track betting is against the law. If flood, fire, drought, storm, Ross River fever, a boil on the fetlock, or any other act of God or man should prevent that horse from starting, well, it won't be me that has to worry about the state penal code. Another 20 to win. Son. My lovely Rosie. Best mechanic I ever had. She should never have gone off with that Aussie. I always thought he was a wrong and I can't say I disagree with you, Mr. Scripps. When you keep that Mick MacDonald under close observation until we're absolutely sure she's safe and sound. I'm afraid he's out of the picture. Sergeant Miller's orders. We also serve who only stand and wait. And I, for one, have done enough waiting and standing for one night, so go to bed, the pair of you. I don't have a clue where my brother is now. I don't even know if he's still alive. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel or what I'm supposed to say if I ever do find him. All I do know is that Daniel was shipped off to Australia when he was a little boy, eight years old, and dumped in some hellhole of a farm school. They did that to white folks too. Oh, yeah. Carol! You uh, entering the picnic races this year, Janet? I don't know. Seems champion the Wonder Horse is running this year. So I hear. You didn't get me here for a tip, Bert. No, that'd be right. This is Detective Sergeant Dawson. She's from England. 
We want to talk to you about Sarah Wagner. Hola! Hola! Got a constable. So you've seen sense and come to have a squint at my piece of prime real estate. It's just up here away. I'm afraid not, Mr. Urquhart. I'm looking for my friend. The sergeant? No, another English woman, a, a blonde. Yeah, might have been someone answering that description here earlier. Went away in a u utility view. Can't say I saw who was driving. You'll have to wait here, Carol. You're not going to leave me out here in the middle of nowhere, are you? It's the middle of somewhere to us. It's safer here than anywhere else on Earth. I'll get one of my brothers to drop you back in the town. What's this about, Nev? Tell me. You have a brother and you don't know where he is. I have a sister and I'm telling nobody where she is. She's having a baby. Seems like it's all gone crook on her. I've said too much already. Has she got a midwife? What do you know about how things go around here? Why should you? I can help. Take me with you. I can't do that, Carol. What if something goes wrong? Our women take care of each other. I'm a district nurse. I'm trained. Oh, come on, Nev. Who am I going to tell? I trust her. Come on, let's go. Sarah Wagner was not what you'd call a friend, exactly. We worked a summer job at a, at a resort off the reef. Travelled down together and she came to stay for a day or so. I think she took a bus out west, wanted to see the Red Senna. Just like Rosie. But she never got back to Perth, did she, Janet? Oh, look, Sarah was a free spirit. That's what they said about Rosie. So why did your mum make this report to the police? A few weeks later, I'd already gone back to college. Mum said she got a call from Sarah's dad. Well, from what Sarah said, she didn't get along too well with her parents. I thought, you know, maybe she just followed her dreams. Sometimes I wish I'd done the same. Don't we all? I can't say I lost too much sleep over it at the time. Should I have? medical assistance. Well, it goes like this, Carol. Lily worked as a domestic on a property out west. When she found out she was expecting, she came back here to her own mob. It's a white fellow that's the father, you see. And what's that got to do with it? Well, if she would have stayed, they'd have taken the baby off her. That's government policy. Bad secrets in this beautiful land. There's a weirdo hanging around asking questions. Did you have a ponytail? You know the fella. Which way did you go, Mrs. Pike? Sometimes. I'm here with you. What's going on? Nothing, it's okay. The baby just needs a little help, that's all.
Mother and baby are doing well. Go and say hello to your nephew now. <laughs> Yes, I appreciate that, Mr. Wagner. Yeah, of course, I'll let you know. I'm sorry you feel that way. Not an easy call. Seems Sarah Wagner never did make it back to Fremantle, and her old man blames the police. Gave me an earful. He reckons we never took it seriously enough. Maybe it's time to... Uh, Reopen the investigation. Where's your offsider? Joe? Yeah. That's what I'd like to know. Hold on and look down. Will not destroy our dreams and days that aren't you come. Our tears we share with understanding. Don't be sad. These people are going to learn how to treat our land with respect. There don't seem to be any witnesses who saw Sarah get on the bus. Maybe she was hitchhiking. Whatever old Mr Wagner thinks, I'd say my predecessors did a pretty thorough job. State police, main roads police made inquiries at all the stops along the route she was supposed to have taken between here and the border. Nobody saw her. Well, that's the point. These missing females could be anywhere between here and the Indian Ocean. It's not as if any bodies were ever found around here. <laughs> Come to think of it, no-one seems to have asked our indigenous population if they know anything. Oi! I want a word with you, young fella. Carol? He hasn't done anything. He was just showing me... take care of it, sister. Are you arresting me, Sergeant? I just want to know if you noticed anything strange out at the res, mate. What am I, your mate now, am I? No, Sergeant. It's the same flaming beauty spot as ever. Where the hell have you been? Joe's been worried sick. Is he really? And here's me with a distinct impression you two are pretty keen to get rid of me. Will you do me a favour, Carol, and go back to the hotel and stay put? I saw you notice in the courier. Oh, yeah, another one. Hey! Wait! Wait! Hey! Oh, hang on, mate! I'm Danny! Danny Cassidy! Daniel! Joe, what are you doing? This is my brother! <laughs> Sorry, I, I thought. I felt wrong. How did you find me? Mate, I might saw your advert. I've been working as a crop sprayer on the fruit farms down south. I rang the motel, they told me to get in touch with the Mural Bar Police. So I borrowed the boss's plane and flew up here. I can't believe it. I've got work to do. Uh, I'll leave you two to get acquainted. Yeah, you do that. I suppose we'll have to run another check on every one of these names. Fair digger, mate. Oh, I could. I don't mind. Be my guest. I'll clear it for you. Records office. Yeah, the records office. Sergeant Flaherty, Marullabar. Oh, 
Yeah, mate, we could do with some rain up here. You should see the state of my lawn. Dry as a pommy's towel. Yeah, it's pretty parched, if you ask me. Look, I need authorization for an English colleague of mine to have access. A Detective Sergeant Dawson. Yeah, righto. Ah, it's just a turn of phrase, you know. Any reflection on your personal hygiene or that of your countrymen is <laughs> purely coincidental. No, no offence. And none taken, Sergeant Flaherty. It's Bert. Right then, Bert. I'm Rachel. Rachel. You're saying, Bert? Back with us then, Constable Mason? I know. I took my eye off the ball. I'm sorry. Now, would you like to tell me what's been going on, please? Come on, Mr. Scripps. I've no to say to you, lad. Oh, you know what I want to talk to you about? Come on! Here, boy, I shan't be responsible for that. I'm bothering you, Mr. Scrimp. For crying out loud, Blue. This your vehicle, sir? You know very well it's not. It belongs to the bloke I'm working for. And I suppose you do have his permission to take it off his property? You got me there, piece of younger? Perhaps we might take a trip down to the police station. So I can ask... Yeah, why don't we? Huh? Lock me up. You'll be doing me a favour. I'm good for nothing else these days. You're not the only ones worried, right? I tried so hard to find out about my mother. I can't remember anything about her. I can. A lovely mum. What does she look like, Danny? A bit like you. Same colour hair. That's how come I recognise you straight off. I haven't even seen a picture of her. When I was first set out here, the only thing I had to remind me of who I was was a picture of the two of us and our mum. She was a beauty right enough. You've still got it, have you? Just hiding in my shoe. Until the so-called brothers took it off me. I'm sorry, Danny. My whole life I've had this terrible resentment towards you. Why did you abandon me? You must have been two when last I saw you. My last memory of you is seeing you dragged off by a nun bawling your eyes out. Next thing you know, I'm picking my guts up on this rusty tub with hundreds of other scared kids being shipped off to the land of opportunity. Child migrants, they called us, like we had some choice in the matter. Oh, I never left you, Carol. I was kidnapped. Well, we've got to stop that horse somehow, son. We, you Lone Ranger? No. You don't seem to appreciate the gravity of the situation, Cole. If Banana Bender romps past the post, then bang, goes your life of luxury. Face it, Ma, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> oh, not me. I've always been a believer in the kind of turf accountancy where everybody loses. <laughs> oh, except the blooming bookies. <laughs> well, seems to me you've only got one choice. Hmm? Nobble the nag. <laughs> With Barton's minor and Flaherty watching the stable. <laughs> but if Ernie couldn't ride Banana Bender... You beauty! Oh, maybe you're not such a half-wit as you look. I think you did inherit some of my brains after all. Because you certainly did inherit your father's looks. <laughs> Bless him. <sighs> yes. Danny, one of the monks was saying about the farm school. Slave labour camp, more like it. Stuck out in the middle of the desert. May as well have been on planet Mars. Looking us like beasts of the field, all hours. Kept wondering what had done so wrong to be treated so cruel. What went on there? We stopped my childhood. I can't talk about this, Carol. I'm not ready. Maybe someday. Have you told anybody? I wasn't the only one. But who'd believe us? When they tell you the truth, will set you free, but not if nobody wants to hear. This land holds some very dark secrets. Somebody else said that to me. It's all sweet now. Because we're together again, sister. In this world, there's too much time. Too much pain. Up 
those bugs. <laughs> Good boy. Now, you go and keep our little friend over there company. Anything he wants is on the house. There you go. Mm. Ah, you didn't get this in Yorkshire, eh? Just one of the delights of this tropical paradise. A piece of which could be yours for less than you'd think possible. <sighs> Spoil yourself, Annie. Have a chill one on me, eh? Not tonight, Carl. There's plenty of time for celebrating once Banana Bender passes the winning post. There's a lot of folk expecting me to make him a bob or two tomorrow. At least let me go and get you a nice juicy tea bone. No meat tonight, Carl. Lays heavy on the stomach the night before a race. I think I might turn in. Oh, not yet, Ernie. Uh, tell us how you won the Nambour sweep. Well, you should have been there. No, I'm going to get an early night. Ugh. Look what I've got. Just for my two favourite fellas. <laughs> Look at the size of their Morton Bay bugs, eh? Can I tempt you, Ernie? Well, I won't say I'm not partial to a bug, Lou. <laughs> now, don't tell everybody. They'll all be wanting in on the act. <laughs> Let's leave the hoi polloi to their snags, well, I what's say. What's the game, Lou? Keep me a chap from his crustaceans. Where go that little hole? Hmm. 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 Oh, that's me done. Got I set some kind of example. I'll have to pull myself in for driving under the influence. See you all at Sparrow Fart. Enjoy, boys. Mm. Bye. Rachel, Joe. Who is it? Oh, well, what do you know? What's the matter, Bert? Oh, uh, Rachel, I just had a call from my colleagues. They found a car abandoned off the road about an hour west of here. It's licensed to a young woman from Charleville who was driving down to the races today. She's completely disappeared. Maybe there is a killer on the road, on my patch. Where was this? By Jindalong Creek. I'm going to take a drive out there. I'll come with you. Why not? I'll blitz the records office. Jindalong Creek. Yeah, Rachel and I went to the roadhouse to have a word about Rosie. Mr... what was it? Meredith. Not the most welcoming of hosts. Have you ever eaten a cold meat pie, Bert? Good morning, brother. You don't know what it means to me to hear you say that word, sister. Are you all right sleeping out here? Oh, that was the best night I'd spent in years, under the Southern Cross. We've got to keep an eye on the boss's plane. Pretty decent of him to give us a land, I'd say. Didn't want to return his crop duster in anything but good working order. You know what, kiddo? I know this has been said many times before, but today's the first day of the rest of our lives. It doesn't mean it's not true. <laughs> Will you let me buy you breakfast, Danny Cassidy? The honoured Carol Cassidy. Isabel. 
thing is, there's been a complaint against you. Oh, yeah? One of the local Aboriginal population, I suppose. <laughs> from this gentleman, as it happens, visitor from England. Scotland. Yeah, well, I never clapped eyes on him in natural. Not what you tell me, sir. No, I was here. That's the man. Perhaps you'd prefer if we dealt with this somewhere more private? Now, it seems when a burger was politely requested, you told him there was none available. And yet your sign was on, was it not? Promising then as now burgers. And your point is? Well, some would say that constitutes false advertising. Oh, for crying out loud, haven't you wallopers got nothing better to do? Just doing my job, mate. Hey, Mr Meredith, just calm down. We can sort this out without further legal proceedings. Well, I see it, mate. It's his word against yours. Was there uh, anyone else working here that day who might have witnessed this uh, altercation? There was a young man at the pumps. Ah, uh, well, that'd be Des, my son. Can I have a word? Uh, he's not here at the moment. He's gone down south. When would that be exactly? Oh, the same day this pump coming here. Oh, you do remember this dissatisfied customer? No, oh, I guess so. Any forwarding address for this, uh, Des, is it? No, Mike. Well, sir, personally, I don't think you've got a legal leg to stand on. Yeah, too right. Now, is that it? Thank you. Hey, you blokes know anything about this combi van that was found down the creek? Well, it looks as if another young woman has gone missing round these parts. Have you finished here, Sergeant? Yeah. Oh, look, while I'm out here, I thought I might sample one of your burgers. I haven't got any blessed burgers! Then I suggest you turn your blessed sign off. Double act or what? <laughs> Do you think he knows anything? Somebody knows. Somebody always knows. A wife, a mother, a sister. Somebody got to Rosie. Somewhere near here. Well, whoever it is, we'll get him, Joe. Sergeant Flaherty, come in. Yep, Flaherty. Where are you, Bert? I'm just heading back to town. You might want to go back and pay a visit to Jindalong Roadhouse. We just left there. I knew it. Have you got something on Meredith? Jack Meredith? No, not Jack. Someone else from the same address. Desmond Meredith. The son? That's right. He's got a record for breaking and entering with aggravated assault. Good on you, Rachel! There was a tow truck there. You think they're in it together, father and son? What's out there? Nothing much. Except the reserve. I can't take this piece of tin off the road, mate. Come on, we've got to go back to the station. Get the Land Rover. Wacko. Al Desmond spent the last five years in Bogger Road Jail. Broke into a flat of a young woman in Brizzy. Caught the act. And the dates match. Sarah Wagner's disappearance was before he was imprisoned, and Rosie went missing shortly after he was released. Desmond Meredith, petrol attendant. Do you remember, Joe? He was 
fixing in Nissan with blacked out windows. All points, all stations, Marillabad district, and all points on Desmond Meredith. Seeing as I are so concerned about my every move, I thought I'd better tell you I'm going for a flight with my big brother. Not now, Carol, we're on to something here. I believe to be driving a Nissan with blacked out windows. Licence Joe, as yet Carol, unknown. please, this is important. Leave us. Rachel, hear me out. That sounds like the Nissan that ran us off the track when Ed was driving me back from his home. The Aborigine Reserve, what are you doing out there, miss? What does it matter? I'm telling you, I've seen the vehicle you're looking for. Where was this exactly? <sighs> I don't know, but Nev will. My Eloisa, I'd love to please her. I'd love to care. I'm going to drive out the res and have a word with young Neville. Who's Nev? My friend. Danny, you could pick him up in your plane. Yeah, sure could. Fine. Tell him we'll meet you at the Blue Gum Billabong where the road turns off for the reserve. Thank you, Missy. Good on you. Yeah. Thanks, Carl. Sarge, you've got to do something. I reckon I've been doped. Yeah, not now, mate. Not now. Give us the gun, mate. Yeah, you try and take it. No. It's all my fault. It's bad blood. No, it's a bad accident, mate, the way I saw it. He, he, driving like a maniac. It's, it's me who's got to pay. Oh, come on, don't be a bloody fool, Jack. What am I going to charge you with? Malicious damage of a tyre? Come on, look, mate. No, no, that's it. That's it. All over, Jack. All over, mate. Get in the track, mate. Get in there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
outside. It, it's over. He's dead. It's Flaherty at Marilaba. Yeah, I need backup. Yeah, full support. All you got, mate. Razzy cat right well. Pretty well. Everybody loved Rosie. But maybe you don't want to tell her, okay, Jay? No, I don't think so. This is the sort of thing that I'm trained to do. Ah, this is a brother's job. You only met her yesterday. Not of the day she was born, mate. Okay, Danny. Just break it to her gently, okay? Yeah. Her in, Sergeant. The little fella's right. She must have doctored the bugs. What have you got to say for yourself, Lou? Now, would I <sighs> deliberately make one of my best customers and my own dear boy crook? What kind of mother do you think I am? I shan't answer that, Lou, but I'll tell you something. You're as cunning as a dunny rat. I'll never be able to mount the bender in this condition. Oh, I suppose the favourite will have to be scratched if there's no one to ride him. Then I suppose you'll have to give back everybody's stakes. Oh, come off it, Sarge. A bet's a bet. Nev, you're a stockman. You can ride the bender. You think you can fit into Ernie Bird and Silks, mate? You beauty! It will take more than iffy buns to stop the races at Marulaba. Let the bender do all the work. Save yourself for the final furlong. The horses are lining up for the first race, so get your bets on. Young man, I owe you an apology. I thought you were up to no good. You're not the first. But listen, can you do me a big favour? Get rid of that barbed wire display. That's the devil's rope. Would it be possible to borrow the keys to the post office, Mrs Pike? I need to make an urgent international phone call. It's the middle of the night back home, Joe. Horses are now ready for the first race, and they're off. Sergeant Miller, it's Mason. Look, I'm sorry to call you at home. Yes, I know it's four in the morning. Shout you a cold one. I better go and break the bad news. No. Sergeant. Be like me, please. 
Very well, lad. Rosie. <laughs> I've been waiting some time for this moment. My winnings, Louise. Mr. MacDonald, I have news from Australia. I trust we've got to know each other a bit. You're not going to dob me into the State Gaming Commission, are you? Don't worry, Bert. I have a little flutter myself. Right, you know. It's all my fault. If she hadn't met me, if she hadn't left here, if I'd taken care of her, what can I do? There's nothing I can do. You can come with me to tell her family. Let's be getting the crop dust back to the boss. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel, Danny, what with Rosie and everything. But at least I know a bit more about who I am now. I like that feeling. I'll be over to see you before you know it. We won't have a loose touch again, Carol. I'm sorry about your friend. Have a safe trip. Take care of my little sister now, Joe. Thanks, Nev. Miss Cassidy? You know this man? That's Dr Cunningham. That's what he's calling himself nowadays. Brisbane police know him better as Crafty Campbell. You might make a detour to Red Hill Watch House. You can pick up your traveller's checks. Thanks, Sergeant. See you, Joe. Next time you bring your fishing gear. You should pop over to Yorkshire sometime. Assist us with a clear-up parade. I'll see you, right? I hope so, Bert. Not too late to have a look at my block. Well, you kick yourselves if you don't. If you think I'm gonna be Done up lock eye keeper, you've another think coming. Jim's a sergeant in the TA, a dab hand when it comes to managing young men. Discipline is essential. Ernie Dunn, found dead. Oh. Stop this, I want to go home now. You're not listening. Let go! <laughs> <laughs>